to all you Capricorns, what is going on through the month of May 2015 for you Capricorns? Well, it's it's not that bad for the month of uh, May. It's um, it's not always you are a cardinal sign, and you had a lot of transformation already going on, especially with Pluto in your sign. But now the emphasis is a bit uh, more on the mutable signs and uh, they are having a bit of a more of a challenge there. But what is going on for you Capricorns? Uh, a couple of things, three things are going on. First of all, the Saturn-Neptune square and that is triggered by personal planets in Gemini. The Mercury retrograde um, we'll be talking about and a little bit I will be talking about uh, the fixed star, Caput Algol, because it's a, it, it's a, it's a bit minor now, but uh, I, I want to mention it. The most important thing is all that energy in Gemini, and that is your sixth house, the house of um, that, it, it's a very earthly house, and you like that because you are an earth sign. So there's a lot of activity going on uh, when it comes to, or it is work, or health, um, or um, it could also be your pets so it's either one of them or maybe all three of them could be the case as well now Mercury is going back and forwards in that sixth house so a lot of you will stand still when it comes to those areas and that is supposed to be the way and with standing still I mean not making major decisions there but actually reconsidering things and rethinking now all of this energy opposes your ruler your ruler is Saturn and you are in the 12th house the most unconscious house but Saturn has its joy in the 12th house because Saturn brings structure in a very unstructured house you could say so you were uh, tying up loose ends and you were uh, making a, a cleanup, you could say. But this is for a long period of time, Saturn being there in your 12th house. Things that are not working for you anymore, you just clean them up, piece by piece. But now stuff comes up that has to do, probably with most, for most of you, with, will have to do with work. Or maybe with health. There are some things that need to be reconsidered, and that need to be looked at. And um, now your ruler is in a square with Neptune. So for a lot of us, for all of us, there is some not being content energy. That's the Saturn squaring up to Neptune. Saturn wants reality. Neptune wants vision. Wants a lot of reality. So it's clashing with each other. And it's in your the Neptune is in your thinking area in the third house. So the way that you think, you think bigger than you can make. Or there is a lot of information that's coming in and confuses you or, um, or there is too much information and Saturn it wants to uh, have a focus and wants to commit itself so it's a bit of a struggle there but it's for you not that challenging because it's not in a key area of your life it's more on the background it's more with your mind so uh, you can use this to find what exactly that it is that you want to find a blind spot. The 12th house, I associate that with our blind spots that we have. We all have things that we don't see of ourselves and that other people really, really do see. So maybe because the 6th house is also the house of work, maybe your colleagues are pointing out things of you that you actually don't want to hear, but it's a good time to think about it. I don't want to say uh, let yourself influence by it, but just reconsider it, what they are saying to you. And um, just just uh, watching it in, in, in an objective manner. And it can help you out to, to let go of some old patterns that are not working for you anymore. Because that is ultimately what Saturn wants to do in the 12th house. He wants to cut off all the patterns that are not working for you anymore. In order for you to be ready when Saturn comes into your sign, that's not 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 yet, but it's a preparation. It's a lot of preparation energy that is going on behind the scenes 
uh, for you um, Capricorns. So yes, if you think that some things you want to change about your work, think about it. It's a good time now to think about it. It's not a good time or not. A, of course, these are general horoscopes, but it's not in a general way. It's not the best time to make decisions to say, OK, I'm going to change it or I'm going to do this or that when it comes to to uh, a job it's better to do and to act upon it next month after the 12th 13th of the month because then mercury goes direct again and there you know there is more clarity there so um every now and then we have mercury retrogrades and it's a good thing because it it means we need to stand still we need to be to um to slow down a little bit. And you Capricorns normally know that because you are a sign that is ruled by Father Time, which is Saturn. So you know that every now and then you need to stand still in order to, for you to go, to be able to go forwards within a, a couple of weeks after this. So um, uh, the same with health. Um, if something is not going 100% as you want, if uh, try to figure out what's happening and try to have multiple um, views try to um, not decide yet what you're going if, if there is something that is uh, bothering you physical health mental health whatever just take your time in figuring it out that's your job now to be to be doing figuring it out take the time now if you can of course if you can um, it's a good time to think about your health, how you can improve it and then take the actions next month, if you can, of course. Uh, it's a good time to, uh, to evaluate that. Um, but don't get frustrated about it because there's going to be some frustrational energy there, especially with the Mars and the Sun. These are all male energies and they're all going to bump into your ruler, Saturn. So there is some anxieties maybe that are going to come up and um, maybe things that you are afraid to do. But uh, you will find the clarity. The, the, the things that you are afraid to do is probably because you don't see it all. You don't connect all the dots yet and that will come. Give yourself some time. So, uh, but again, I don't think this is going to be the most difficult month of the year in general. Not at all. Um, so, um, but yes, be aware that whenever you feel a bit frustrated about something, it, it, it's not always a bad thing. It means that you are going to change things. You are going, and probably that will have to do with health or work, as I just said. But um, you need to take your time on that. And then another thing is the fixed star Caput Algol that's on 26 degrees of Taurus and that is in your fifth house. So um, it's in an earth sign which is good for you but that fixed star is all about confusion. It's all about not knowing where you're heading at. It's um, been activated for quite a while. A lot of personal planet has crossed that point like Mercury and Mars and the Sun and now there's going to be a new moon on the 18th, the sun and the, new, and the moon together in that fifth house on that fixed star of confusion. What does it mean? It means you are warned now. You are warned that around the 18th, you are not really clear about fifth house stuff issues. What can, and, and what is best to do? Just let it be what it does, let it do what it does and it will pass. Uh, it's only a couple of days, like the 18th and 19th. It's not a good time to make huge decisions considering uh, hobbies, considering children, considering um, how you express yourself, considering a project that you want to launch. Just wait, because again, it, it, it's uh, as with the Mercury retrograde. You don't have all the information yet, but it is there to come. So these are just a couple of days to be warned that if you feel a bit like you're all over the place, it's normal. So the best thing to do is just, okay, it, this, will, this shall pass as well. 
So um, all in all, uh, an interesting month. There's some work on the background and some rethinking, but not anything that will um, that 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 you can't cope. I think. Thank you very much for watching, you uh, dear Capricorns, and see you next month. Bye bye.